Hey everyone, it's Ariel. Welcome back to another video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we're going to be talking all about the four hair types as well as the subtypes within the four hair types. Let's get into it. So maybe you've heard of the four hair types or maybe you haven't, but I do think that knowing your specific hair type can truly help in figuring out what your hair needs, what products might be best for it. So I'm hoping this video can help you learn a little bit more about your hair type and what your specific hair type might need. Having natural curly hair myself, it's always been really helpful for me personally to know my natural hair type because different hair types need different things, different care, different products, etc. So today I'm going to go over the four main hair types as well as the subtypes within those main types. A little complicated, I know, but don't worry, we're gonna get through it. I'm gonna explain everything. So you might be wondering, what are the four hair types? What does a hair type even mean? Let me tell you. The four main hair types are straight, wavy, curly, and coily or kinky. And these fall under a numbered system from one to four, one being straight and four being coily or kinky. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated, but stick with me, it's all gonna make sense soon. So within each of these four main hair types comes a subtype, which is distinguished by a letter. For example, 1A, 1B, 1C, and so on, all the way from one through four. So these three subtypes, A through C, tend to determine the diameter, width, or density of your hair type. So this just takes your hair type and then it narrows it down even further to really find that precise hair type that you have. So let's just get straight into the hair types. So first, Type one. So type one hair is straight. This is the most bone straight hair type of them all. It tends to be hard to damage and also very hard to curl or get it to hold any type of style. Type one hair or straight hair tends to be the most oily of the hair types as well because the natural sebum from our scalp can easily find its way to the ends of the hair, meaning that your hair ends up looking oily. It is, however, the most resilient of the hair types, being that it has more of a natural sheen, that natural sebum is working its way through the ends and keeping it more protected, so that's a good thing. Type two is wavy hair. So this hair type tends to fall somewhere between straight and curly, making it wavy. Wavy hair tends to be a little bit more prone to frizziness compared to straight hair, but it's also less resistant to styling, meaning that it's easier to alternate between different styles when you have wavy hair. Wavy hair also tends to have a little bit more volume than somebody might have with straight hair. Type three is curly hair. So this hair type has a lot more volume than both straight and wavy hair. It tends to have more of a defined S pattern um, and it also is more prone to frizziness as well as dryness. So it's crucial with this hair type that hair is receiving proper hydration. Type four hair, AKA kinky or coily. This hair type can usually be seen as a tightly coiled or even a Z shape pattern. People with this hair type often struggle with a lot of shrinkage just because of how much the hair shrinks and coils up. Also being that it's essentially the exact opposite from type one or straight hair means that the natural sebum has a very difficult time reaching the ends. So that makes this hair type very susceptible to damage and also very fragile in general. So those are the four main hair types. Hopefully this is making sense so far. So by now you probably have a pretty good idea of which of the four hair types you're in. But now we're gonna narrow it down even further and get into the subtypes, which is the letter system from A to C. So going all the way back to type one or straight hair, we're gonna start with type 1A. This hair type tends to be fine or thin in density, um, and it's also very hard to get this hair type to hold a curl. It tends to be very soft and shiny, but it is very straight, bone straight. And this hair type also tends to be very difficult to damage. It tends to lay very close to the head. There's just not a lot of volume or body in this hair type. And then moving on to type 1B, this hair type tends to be kind of a medium um, density. And it's very similar to 1A. Um, this one just has a bit more body and volume. And it's a little bit easier for this hair type to hold a curl and kind of to manipulate, I guess. Still not easy to hold a curl, but a little bit easier than the last hair type. Now type 1C would generally be more of a coarse texture, still kind of straight, but it can range anywhere from straight to a little bit of an S pattern, or maybe just sections of it have kind of a little bit of an S that you can sort of see. And again, still not the easiest to curl, but slightly easier than the other two. Basically, if you have straight hair, it is the most resilient hair type. 
Um, it's harder to get it to hold a curl, but there are a lot of pros to this hair type because it it's essentially impossible to damage. Not impossible, I shouldn't say that, but it is very difficult to damage because the natural sebum is always going right to those ends and keeping your hair protected. The only thing is you might not be able to curl your hair and wear it curly all day long because it might have a hard time staying in there if your hair is straight. But it is usually soft, shiny, sleek, and very resistant to damage. Now going on to type 2 hair, which is wavy hair, starting with type 2A. This hair type tends to have a fine or thin density and it also has a more distinct S pattern um, as compared to straight hair. So it'll have more of that S pattern, kind of like stretched waves throughout and this hair type also generally responds pretty well to being styled so it's less resistant than straight hair in that way and then hair type 2b is kind of the medium density and this hair type is a little bit more prone to frizziness tends to have a more defined s pattern that you'll be able to see throughout almost similar to how it looks when you braid your hair and then take it out that's kind of the natural wave pattern of type 2b hair. Now type 2c hair, this is the last one in the wavy category. This hair type has more of the coarse texture generally and it'll usually be more of a thicker wave. Still that same s pattern but very distinct now and you might even see a little bit of spiraling happening with this hair type. It also tends to be a lot more prone to frizziness and can be a little bit more resistant to styling as well. So to sum up wavy hair in general, it can range anywhere from a slight S wave to a very pronounced S wave, even with some spirals happening. And it can be either more resistant or more prone to styling depending on the texture and density of your hair. And you're probably gonna see a little bit more frizziness with this hair type as compared to straight hair. Are you guys still with me? I hope so, I hope this is not too confusing. Okay. Type three hair. This hair type is the curly or coily category. So starting with type three A hair, this is one of my favorite hair types. I always wished I had this hair type, but I don't, um, but I just think it's gorgeous. So this hair type is a loose curl, generally resembling the size of a piece of sidewalk chalk, if you can picture that. The comparison to like everyday objects really helps me. So this hair type is kind of still in the S pattern category. Um, but it it's a lot more um, ringlety and kind of spirally than the wavy hair. It's more bouncy as well. So they're kind of like big, loose, spirally curls. Gorgeous. It's usually very thick, um, voluminous, and also prone to frizz as well. But overall, very beautiful. I love this hair type. Uh, and it is the loosest of the curly hair types. Now type 3B hair is where we're getting a little bit tighter, a little bit more ringlety and just you know a smaller curl these curls tend to resemble that of a sharpie marker Th doesn't that help that gives me such a good visual but this is another stunning hair type so these curls can be anything from a bouncy ringlet to a corkscrew spiral and they generally have a lot of volume and they can also be prone to frizziness as well now type 3c hair this is what i think my hair type is i will insert a picture of my hair um, you can let me know what you think. I've always thought that I am kind of a mix of 3C, maybe 3B, and potentially 4A, which is what we're gonna talk about next. But 3C curls, these tend to be kind of tight, corkscrewy curls. They usually resemble the size of a straw or a pencil, so very tight little spirals. This hair type is very prone to dryness and frizz, I can attest. Um, it's crucial with this hair type that you are maintaining proper hydration, but overall a very voluminous and bouncy curly hair type. So type three curls can fall anywhere between a piece of sidewalk chalk to a Sharpie marker to a pencil or a straw. <laughs> so generally very spirally, um, can be looser or tighter depending on the subtype. Also more prone to frizziness and dryness um, and tends to have a lot more volume than the wavy hair type. Last but not least, the type four. Type four hair is coily or kinky. So starting with type 4A. This hair type tends to be a soft, kind of a medium texture. Um, can also be kind of spongy, if that makes sense. This type of curl will generally look like a very tightly coiled S curl. Hopefully that makes sense. And very fragile. Again, this is another one that's very prone to dryness, so it can break really easily. 
Um, once you get into these very curly, coily textures, um, the natural sebum, as we said earlier, has a very difficult time making its way all the way down those spirals to the ends. So it tends to be just very fragile and dry um, in a lot of these curlier and coilier hair types. So type 4A hair is unfortunately no different. It falls under the dry and fragile category. I personally think my hair is a mixture of 4C and 4A somewhere in there. And it actually is very common to have a mixture of two different hair types. So you're, if you are if you made it this far and you're kind of wondering like, hmm, I'm kind of like this one, but kind of like this one, it's possible that you have both. It's actually very common to have a combination of two different or three different hair types. Okay, so moving on to type 4B hair. This tends to have a very coarse or even wiry texture. It is similar to type 4A, but it's less defined and it looks more like a Z compared to an S. So the curl kind of has like more of an angle um, instead of kind of a bend. And again, very fragile, very delicate, and unfortunately suffers from a lot of dryness as well. Now type 4C hair is very wiry in texture. It has mostly a Z pattern, um, so very, very, very tightly coiled, just very tight kinks almost. And it also has less definition than the other subtypes of type four. The type four hair types especially are the ones that tend to grow out rather than down, which I think is gorgeous. Um, it is a little frustrating though when your hair grows this way instead of down, it just tends to get bigger and bigger. I feel like I've definitely experienced that frustration, but very beautiful and very textured and voluminous for sure. Definitely not lacking volume if you have type four hair. Okay, did you make it this far? If you're still here, I'm so happy because it means this video made sense. <laughs> so those are the four main hair types as well as the subtypes within the main hair types. Hopefully this video helped you in some way. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, and hopefully you learned what your hair type is. So now you can search for certain products or um, routines that might be better suited for your specific hair type. I know that it's helped me a lot just knowing kind of even just like the range of hair type that I'm in. Um, it's really helped me a lot personally. So hopefully it helped you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. It would be really interesting to see what all of your hair types are. So leave your hair type in the comments below. Let me know what your hair type is. You can also follow me on Instagram at stylebyariel underscore and check out my blog stylebyariel.com. I'll leave all that linked in the description as well if you're interested, but that is it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.